We already know the insane effects that bottles have in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but are there similar effects in Majora's Mask? Well, yes! And no. First of all, the majority of those insane memory manipulations in Ocarina of Time come from putting a bottle on your B button and then catching something in it. The way Ocarina of Time works is that it has a connected list of values which the game uses to determine what to do with the item that was just obtained. While this works perfectly fine with bottles on the C buttons, the B button was never meant to hold bottles, yet tries to run its instructions, which ultimately leads to it using the item on the C right button as to where the new value should be saved. It sounds complicated, is complicated, and you probably need a lot of free time to fully understand this. So back to our topic, would Majuri's Mask do the same with bottles on B? The answer is no. Majuri's Mask has an insane amount of 4 megabytes more memory, so Nintendo didn't really have to save memory wherever they could. And due to that, Majora's Mask treats the B button just like the game treats C buttons, technically. There are a couple of exceptions that can be achieved with a B button in Majora's Mask, but those are only the case because you can't put something like a Goren ground pound onto a C button. So what's with this video now? Well, just because we can't abuse putting a bottle onto a B button doesn't mean we can't abuse bottles altogether. While Nintendo certainly didn't try to save as much memory as they had to in Ocarina of Time, they still encountered an issue with one big topic in Majora's Mask, time. And this mostly affects hot spring water. Nintendo tried to avoid taking the in-game time into effect when it comes to cooling the hot spring water. So if you didn't know about the inverted song of time or just didn't want to play it, the hot spring water was still meant to turn into regular spring water after the same amount of time. To solve this problem, Nintendo started a timer as soon as you start the game. If you now catch hot spring water, the game will write the value of the current uptime onto the assigned memory value. So the game now checks if a certain amount of time has passed on those values, and if that's the case, it gives you normal spring water, as it has cooled down. But why are we telling you this? Well the answer is fairly simple. In some of our previous videos, we caught hot spring water in bottles and wrote over other item slots such as cafe's mask or the hookshot. Upon catching hot spring water in one of those bottles, the game will still write the current uptime onto the memory value of those items. But the values of the times are no longer than the values of the items themselves, so they end up overriding other parts as well. So what can we do with this now? Well first of all, depends on the version we're on, as there are different effects for the English, Japanese and the 3DS version of the game. All of those had huge changes in them, so it's fairly obvious that the memory structure has changed as well. Let's start with the… least spectacular one. The English version. The effects of this version have hardly any. Most of them just give us Jinx timer or make the bomber's code unusable. There are exceptions like the hookshot that can get us stuck on the same day if we write the right values onto it, or the great fairy sword which gives us 256 rupees if we catch hot spring water after drooping a bottle over it. Other than that, there are still the mosques, which really only override a few bits and pieces of the picto box image if we took one. But even then, these are hardly visible. So, this trick is rather unspectacular on the English version. So, let's move on to the Japanese one. Here, we have way better options of messing up the game. While the regular items don't have much of an effect, the mask effects are even better. Their effects range from manipulating the in-game time like Cafe's Mask, which sets your in-game time to 12am at night, to duping over Giant's Mask, which disables your HUD except for the A and B button, all the way to duping over Captain's Hat, which screws up your magic bar depending on the amount of time your console is turned on for. The longer it was on, the higher the maximum magic value is we get, and this can mess up the game… a little. So if we catch the hot spring water right after turning the console on, our magic bar shrinks to the extent of us being unable to get magic at all. But the longer we wait, the more magic we gain. But there's an issue. Looking at the values, one notices that the current magic and the maximum obtainable magic will behave differently in the long run. While the maximum magic can reach from 0 to 255, the current magic ranges from minus 128 to 128. So some of you might see the issue already. 
others might wonder what happens if you try to go above 128. So if we leave our console on for more than 3 hours and 10 minutes, our maximum magic value will exceed 128. And if we go beyond that, our magic bar freaks out entirely. This happens because the current magic value went beyond 128 and now wraps around to minus 128. So we are now at a negative value of magic. This sounds unspectacular, but there's a fun little effect that it has with the Zora barrier, which renders its scaling depending on the amount of magic we have. And since we have a negative amount of magic, the barrier is flipped inside out as well, which messes up the graphics quite a bit. Also, huge shout out to Kida for looking for things like that. He's one of the biggest Majora's Mask glitch hunters out there. So let's move on to the last version, the 3DS version. We'll keep this one short as the effects are once again way different, but most notable are probably the Gibdo mask and the Cafe mask here. Once again, the value the game writes onto the item slots depends on the amount of time the game is turned on for. This time, there are some more notable effects though. Let's start with the Gibdo mask. If we leave the console on for about 2 minutes and 40 seconds before duping over it and catching hot spring water, the game will go crazy and cycle through the 3 days non-stop. This can be stopped by playing the inverted Song of Time. If we were to leave the area now, the game would cycle extremely fast through the days up to the moon crash, which isn't really what we want. So we play the inverted Song of Time, then Song of Double Time to make it 5am and leave the area. As you can see now, the timer disappeared. If we wait for the day to pass, the game will display dawn of a new day. And suddenly, we're in the spring section of the area. What we just explained is wrong warping in Majora's Mask 3DS. This even allows us to wrong warp from the Twin Islands to the Georg fight, which obviously isn't possible in the N64 version. Another fun effect can be achieved by performing this with a cafe mask. If we catch hot spring water in a bottle where the cafe mask was supposed to be, we… well, turn into Fierce DD Link. As you can see, there are lots of incredible effects, even though they might not be as useful as they are in Ocarina of Time. But it's really the not so useful things that are fun to observe in these games. Thank you for watching as always. You know the drill. Click things, do buttons. Yeah. I'll just wait here. Till next week.